Hello Internet, it is I, Azur Octave, and this is Let's Play Dark Sun. I'm Azur Octave, and we just aggroed these little Earth Elemental things, but we'll take care of them. They're no problem. No problem. No problem at all. Pang. Yeah, it's not even a challenge. Ah, except for when it is. <laughs> Come on, take them out. You should be able to take everybody out here. Tamarin will, yes, run up into melee for no good reason. Now you're slowed on top of whatever you had going on before. There. Dead. <laughs> oh, let's not forget the giant pile of money that they were uh, guarding. I mistook it for hay. Hey, that's not hay at all. We drew the sh short straw on this one. Uh... Fielding these, that's that's too much of a stretch. Uh, let's run by those Zorns, not get them angry, because angry Zorns are not... Ah, uh, I mean, uh, that's a Zorn. The Otsiuks, or whatever they are, the... They're, they're aberrations. Aberrations are never fun. They're not good, they're not healthy, they're not part of a balanced diet. Um... That leads me back up to the wrong spot. I don't want to go up there. I want to go over to where Tynan was. Or not Tynan. <laughs> I've noticed that I've named everything Tynan. And actually, I can't get over to there because he was in this locked off area over here. So, so buttons. Um, let's head into here. And we are going to travel back to... Uh, what? No, get, wish for nothing now then. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> um, what's here? Oh, zombie. Zambe. Uh, come on. There's a good place to escape. Down here. We're gonna escape up this. And then we're gonna travel over to Tiketzel, because we've gotten every alliance that I can get. Uh, we've got the two villages. That's a lie. We could have gotten that caravan of, uh, people, uh, at the beginning. Uh, I think we have Jasmine on our side. We have the one warrior from this vill village on our side here. Uh, we've, we've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's save the game. Uh, 102... <laughs> I really can touch type at a, an alarming rate. I think I... Yeah, but the problem is when I touch type, I'm not hitting the same buttons here. So let's let's head over to T. Quetzal and start wrapping this up. Uh, your wish is my command. And we'll get our last little booster of weapons. Uh, and then we'll actually start the fight. Wow. Not sure you've fulfilled the prophecy. You have a bad attitude. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Let's head over to here. Doop -a doop -a doop. Come on. Let's talk to the council. I saved before I came here, right? Hello. Welcome back, honorable heroes. Word came from Sedrite that they will join the Alliance. Our confidence you is in you is more than justified, and a reward awaits you in your hut. More? Now, however, the Drajian army is on the march, and we must organize our forces. forces. Chal will brief you. Our situation is desperate. I forget this guy's voice. <clears throat> the Drajian army is bigger than I ever imagined. The help you found for us in Sedrite and Jedrin is a great help. I thank you. Still, we have little chance against Draj. But I won't submit. <clears throat> Even if it costs me my life, I'll never be a slave again. What is our plan of action? We'll march out of Tiketzel and strike our enemies. Okay, what should I do? Sharpen your sword. You must march into battle as soon as you are ready. Chal will command the fighters from Tiketzel. Your Chal. <laughs> <laughs> talking about yourself in third person now? <clears throat> what is the lieutenant going to do? The lieutenant volunteered to guard the village during the battle. Where is the Drajian army now? 
Scouts report that the army has passed through the outlying fields and is marching straight for Tiketzel. How big is the Drajian army? You cannot measure the troops in numbers. Their campfires spread across the desert like a sea of fiery eyes, and the dust raised by their marching could choke them. I something that's hard to choke. <laughs> Where are our allies? The warriors from Sedrite and Jedron are encamped near the oasis. I sent word for them to march as soon as I heard you had arrived. Uh, how is the morale of the village? The villagers are afraid. Seeing the warriors from Jedron and Sedrite brings them, gives them determination to fight, but they have little hope for victory. How are our allies holding up? It's amazing, more have not deserted <laughs> considering what we face. I'm sure it's because of your inspirational leadership. Um, I don't know if that's such a good thing. Is the visionary making any predictions? He says the storm has come, and that it will reveal our fate. Leave it to a visionary to state the obvious. It is time to prepare yourself. Cha will assemble the warriors. Again, he seems to have gotten hit in the head and is talking about himself in third person. <coughs> and meets you outside the gates. May you be shaded from harm. Alright. We don't get anything in here yet. That's fine. Alright, so we're finally going to be fighting this battle that we've kind of prepared for the whole game for. This is going to be incredible. Incredible in that there will be no credit to go around. <laughs> Alright, we have a super helmet. We have arrows. A... a a psionic thing that we can't use. What is this? Leather Helm of Might. Which we don't have any use for. I bet... Martok? Martok the Blue. The only person that can use it. <laughs> I think that boosted up the damage that that puts out. Uh, I think... Tamarin getting controlled would be the second worst thing other than Martok. This gives increased strength. Whew, hope you're feeling up to it, Martok. Again, Rakilda can't use any armor. This is just uh, aggravating <laughs> that we can't use any armor. Hey, all right for her. Uh, why do we even have computer control in this game? How many is plus three? All right, so. Which ones are these? Is it plus one? Fourteen plus one, and we have fourteen arrows plus three. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buff the heck out of ourselves here. I think this is Let's Play 103. Save the game. Rest up, and that's really all that we can really do to prepare ourselves. Um, put shield on ourselves, and... Uh... Whew. I'm getting kind of nervous, actually. I'm a little bit nervous. Gotta admit, gotta admit. I just rested, didn't I? Everybody's at 70. No, no, no. There's still some nicks and scratches on us. Uh, Brickhilda, you're the cleric. What can you do for us? You can do abjure. You can do protection from evil. 10 foot radius. Proves the AC and saves the target. And adjacent friendly two against evil. If you do this on yourself, does everybody get it? Nope. Maybe I should save that for when we actually start fighting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's actually wait on that. Uh, for when we start fighting, that'll probably be the first thing that Burkilda does because, well, do the Drajian people think that they're evil? I don't know. Come on. Two, yeah, that's check deck tar, that's why. Alright. No. Three. We just have magical vestment. Gives for cast three for five. Well, let's do that. Did that help your AC at all, Brickhilda? Brickhilda? Hello? Oh, you went down to negative two. Should've been using that all along. Uh, Tamarin, do you have anything super, super awesome, amazing? That protects you. Dispel magic. Uh, minor globe of invulnerability. Which are those within the first, second, or third level spells, but that's not as cool as something like. We need you to have a lot of fourth level spells because they're going to be 
invaluable for this. So you're going to armor yourself up. Uh, and you're going to armor Chek Tak Tar up. Because... What's that? <laughs> AC1, you're still... Still crap. AC5, AC1, AC negative 7. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, so we are primed... And you know what's really silly? There's an event that's gonna happen here before we actually go in. And I also found out that you can use that bucket on the well to make it go up and down. So let's not, you know, like, make the people of Draj die of thirst, so. In the next video, there will be a surprise. Prepare yourselves.